So guys, I got my copy of Paprion from Watermelon Games, and I first wanted to just start off by telling you my story of my involvement with Paprion. Way back, from my recollection, I think it was in 2011, but it could have been in 2012, Watermelon Games had previously released Pure Solar, which was a game for the Genesis, and they announced that they were going to be creating two more games, Project Y, and I forgot the name of the other one, Project N, perhaps. Project Y, there wasn't really much announced, all they really said was that it was going to be a Sega, Sega Genesis game, and it was going to be a side-scrolling beat-em-up. With time, more and more came out about it and then eventually it turned into the cyberpunk side-scrolling beat-em-up with huge character sprites, etc. But in the very beginning, you could invest small amounts of money and start voting on things that would happen in the game or just basically choices that the developers would make. So way back then, it was just called Project Y. There was no name, there was no nothing. The earliest email I have as a record was in 2013. They announced that the game would be coming soon and that there was like a clip of some gameplay footage or something like that. So then fast forward to the future, people are talking about this game now, complaining how they paid for it in 2015 or 2017. But what I'm trying to say is that I've been invested in this game, which I didn't really know what it was since all the way back in 2011 and 2012. And at the time, you could slowly fund your way in this currency, which was called gems. And then when you had $50 worth of gems, um, that would secure yourself a copy of the game when it finally came out. When I say I'm excited to see the final product, I mean I've been waiting 10 years to get something for my initial investment of $50. So I'm going to unbox it here and give my raw reactions. And I'd like to hear in the comments other people's stories with Paprion and Project Y. There was a really active forum every time anything came out for the game, like a new screenshot or sound clip or whatever, there would be a lot of speculation. I know there's been a lots of ups and downs with this project over the years. We're not going to really talk about any of that in this video, but I just wanted to show my raw reaction. At this point, I don't really care what I'm getting. I'm just kind of glad to finally see something come out of this after all these years. All right, first things first, we got a box within a box. It has the watermelon logo. It says made in China, and it's a gigantic barcode. So obviously, we're going to cut that open. So there it is, a box within a box within a box. We have the Paprion Investors Mega Pack. So there it is. This is it. You can see that we have some logos over there. We have the Paprion logo here. Pretty nice looking box. I do say that their packaging is on point for this game, even though I had to wait such a long time. Next, you see the Paprion mascot, a really muscular guy that says thank you you can see that it's actually a Paprion postcard, so that's actually pretty cool. This is kind of interesting. This is kind of like a warning about the game and saying details about everything, like here. No matter how long the wait, the game is here. I, Fonzie, could be sorry for the wait and the lack of news, but I already gave them away long ago. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, an exclusive AAA game in 90s flavor. 100% custom and released for the 30th anniversary of the system. I would like to thank you for your trust and patience. Okay, so the card said I want to thank you for your trust and patience. Words of warning, this game runs at a full frame rate and will optimally, optimally display on a CRT. Playing on a flat screen may result in missing transparencies, blah blah blah. Make sure you use an original Mega Drive or Sega Genesis system. This game pushes the hardware and will underperform on clones and other freshly molded turds. If anyone wants to read something like this or hear what's in it, please let me know in the comments. So this was the one thing that they did say that the investors would get. This is the comic book. I'm not even going to open it up right now, but um, this thing is pretty cool. So this is volume one. I, don't, I doubt there will ever be a volume two of this. Another thing I didn't know that was coming in here is... This is Paprion underwear. Which is funny, it says it's extra extra small size, and it says Showtime's Panties, who I think is the, the mascot. And it says, oh, you touch my tra-la-la. Mmm, my ding-ding-dong. That is from a really old meme video. So that's, that's pretty interesting. It says four investors only, so again, gotta be an investor to get that. Okay, so this is a pin, which it says it's the Dayton Meister pin high workshop kit. This is a limited edition glows-in-the-dark pin. 
And then of course we got the game and some shrink wrap here, which this can come right off. I do really appreciate what they did here, but what's interesting is it looks like a Genesis game, but it's not a complete clamshell of a game. I was under the impression that this was going to be a clamshell. You can see from the outside that it looks like it's a clamshell, but it's actually not. There's open space in there. Partridge itself is kind of flopping around, which is interesting, but I do give them credit on the actual design of everything here. It looks really nice. Honestly, I don't even remember what this is. This may be like the manual for the game. It just says size X Paprion, and it's really thick and heavy. Oh, it's art book, I think, actually. That's basically everything. Um, it's pretty crazy to think that my $50 investment in 2011-2012 correlates to the actual game, a bunch of extra goodies that are exclusive to the Investor's Edition, as well as the actual game itself, which now I think Fonzie is trying to sell them to people for $129. But like I said, regardless of if it plays or I do anything with it, I still think it's really cool that I finally got something after all these years and I can finally have Paprion in my collection. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have any questions about Paprion, you want to share your story or anything like that, um, please leave it in the comments. I make a lot of different uh, retro gaming videos or modern gaming videos. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to check out more videos like this.